ICC, I want to welcome you to this wonderful evening prayer session. I want to hope that God has blessed you. I want to praise God that he's going to keep on blessing. He's going to provide all the provisions as uh, in amidst this pandemic. Uh, we want to encourage you to keep on subscribing. We want to encourage you to keep with us on uh, online and call us. The pastors are all available. We want to encourage you to keep ministering with us. Uh, right about now, we're going to have our choir that is going to take us through a wonderful period of worshiping and praise. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Yeah, we are here for our online Friday uh, prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. And we're going to worship Jesus wherever you are in your house. I encourage you to worship Jesus because that's the only name that's above all names. And right now in your house is God. God is greater than all things. God is greater than all things right now. And we, we, we speak to that God that we believe in. We speak to that God that we know is greater than all things. Hallelujah. Somebody just worship God. Just worship God wherever you are. Somebody just worship God because He's mighty, He's wonderful. God, we worship you, Jesus. You're the only name above all names. We worship you, King of Kings.
Just worship the God. And right now in your house, as we worship God, the atmosphere is shifting right now. And the atmosphere is shifting right now. God is in this place. God is in this place. Worship that name that's above every name. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus right now. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Every chain to break 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 every chain we worship you Lord you break chains right Thank you. 
somebody to believe it right now. The chains of depression, the chains of poverty, the chains of sickness, they break right now in your house. Come on, somebody to believe it right now. Just sing it out. Chains are breaking. Chains are breaking. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. We believe to Jesus, you break all the chains of depression. You break all the chains right now. We believe in God to break every chain. We believe in God to break every chain. Every chain to break 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 every chain to break
this evening it's only God who knows it's only God who says as you've had a singing way maker miracle worker he has never stopped making the miracles he has never stopped doing things the way he used to do them he's still the same God today and yesterday please I welcome you I welcome you I welcome you in this yet another service where we are going to worship God where we are going to glorify him, where we are going to do mighty, mighty, mighty things from the Lord. We are going to draw mighty, mighty works of the Lord into our lives. Hallelujah. So, just as the ministers have been speaking unto us, saying, miracle worker, chain breaker, the game changer, the breaker breaker, he's still the same God. He's still proving. He's still doing things the way he used to do them. Hallelujah. So, I don't know how you've been. I don't know how you are now. And I can tell you, I even have no clue on where the Lord is taking you. But one thing I know, that he works all things for the good of those who love him. The week may have been very, very, very tough for you. But I'm here to encourage you. I am here to, 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 uh, to, to strengthen you. I am here to tell you that, hey, brother, sister, he's still in control. He's still the porter. He's still the one who is holding the heavens above you. And he will do it again. Just when things seem like they have failed, that's when God comes in. Amen. Back in Ishaka. We bring you greetings. Greetings to those who are watching on Facebook, those who are watching on YouTube, those who are watching us acro from across the seas, those who are within Uganda, those who are in East Africa. What can we say? Only to give God the glory and to thank him for his goodness. Please, Ishaka Community Church loves you. And it is, we are always praying for you and your family that the Lord will connect you to your destiny. 
that the Lord will lift up the ancient doors, the everlasting doors of eternity, of your destiny, that you will enter in glory with the King of glory. Amen. I bring you greetings from my family. They are all doing well. They are all fine. Balaam said hi. He loves you and he's always praying for you. And I know you have also not forgotten about him. So this evening, I'm glad to be sharing with you the word of life, the bread of life, the writing that Jesus left unto us to share together as brethren. Uh, and we are not going to waste any much more time, but we are going to ask the Lord to lead us as we are going to share the word of the living God. So please, may you bow your heads with me as you are going to pray and we we'll begin the service. Father, I want to thank you so much, O oh God, for your choice this evening. Who am I, O oh God, that you have chosen, O oh Father, to minister to your saints, O oh Jesus? Father, King of glory, as a minister, as a servant, the best way to serve you is when you are in control, is when you are in the leadership, and I'm just following. Lord, I recognize you this evening. May you feed the hungry. May you quench the thirsty. And may you counsel those who are distressed, those who are confused. Let your counsel prevail in the hearts of men. Father, we dedicate this word unto you. We dedicate this moment unto you. And the souls and the people unto you. That whatever may be spoken here may be life-changing and may be inspiring, influencing, sanctifying. And let our ears, our minds, and our spirits be conformed to the glory of your name. Father, we capture every argument, every mindset, every way. And let it be conformed to the glory of your wonderful name. We thank you so much. And we give glory unto you for who you are. In the name of Jesus Christ, somebody say amen. Hallelujah. So, um, I was here last Friday as I was sharing with you from Psalm 21. Hope you experienced the Lord's love and you caught what you were believing for. And if you didn't, hey, just keep waiting in that place. The Lord is still working, he's still proving, he's still doing what he used to do before. So, this evening, we are going to be reading from the book of 1 John, chapter 1. And we are going to read from verse 5. You know, John is one of the most loved apostles of Jesus. The guy was so close to him. I attach so much honor to his gospel, to his words, to his inspiration by the Spirit. And uh, he has been so, 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 so loud in my ears these days. And I want to share with you what he has been speaking to me as we are going to pray. Amen? So, I'm reading from the Passion Translation. That's the TPT. Uh, he says, from verse 5, that the, this is the life-giving message we had him share, and it is still ringing in our ears. We now repeat his words to you, that God is pure, and you will never find even a trace of darkness in him. <laughs> Praise be to God. That God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. <laughs> you could have read it before. You've heard sermons, great sermons being preached from here. There are so many attachments that have been attached to this scripture. But I want to share with you what the Lord spoke to me and what the Lord inspired me into. Because in verse 6 he says, if we claim that we share life with him but keep walking in the darkness or in the realm of darkness, we are fooling ourselves and not living the truth. Praise be to Jesus. You know, I was inspired by <laughs> this verse when I read that God is light. God is light. When we hear God speaking light, 
right from Genesis, that let there be light, and there was light. We still hear this same revelation in the book of John, the gospel, where Jesus told us, where the, 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 the writer was telling us that the word of life became the, the light unto men. So he's still speaking about the same guy. Light be. And there was light. And everything was started in Genesis. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Ta -ta -ta. It all began with light. The gospel is still telling you the word of life came. It became flesh. And this word was the light unto men, enlightening them. <laughs> you know, when you look at things like light, you may not even perceive, <laughs> you may not even notice, you may not even be conscious of what that thing is unto you, of what value it is to you. But, va but the value of light is, it reveals what is hidden. Light. Eyes have nothing, <laughs> have no purpose without light. We stumble without light. We are confused without light. One of these days when I was sharing with my family members, we were in the house and somebody just switched off the light. And man, it was too, too, too dark. You couldn't notice your friend, even the most brown person in the room couldn't be noticed because darkness was just too much. Then, all of a sudden, power came back and everything was beautiful. I could see them, I could, we could judge, we could know what we are talking about, you know. And that was the light. And this scripture came in the morning when I was, <laughs> when I was, when I woke up to make my devotion. And I was like, wait a minute. God is light. And in him, there is no darkness. Hi. I said, what about light? Why choose light? And friends, I realized it's one of the ways that God is going to judge us and tell us, how come you didn't know me? How can you say you didn't know God? None of us on earth has not seen light. Even when you are in the other, in, in the loose, in those small rooms, there is still light. So you cannot tell me that there, you don't know God because light is everywhere. In the Arab world, in the ancient world, light was there. So God is everywhere. Because it says God is light. As long as you can see the light. I told you in Psalms 19, the Lord will tell us that surely, as long as you see the heavens upheld there in the sky, just you know that he is still in control. God is light. And in him, there is no darkness. At all. Praise be to Jesus. Now at all. When you just get out of the scripture. At all. You know. <laughs> he chooses light. Because light reveals what is hidden in darkness. He chooses to be light. Because light brings to, into the manifestation of things hidden. He chooses to be light. Because he knows without light nothing can go on. He chooses to be light because without light, life is a mess. He chooses to be light because without light, you can stumble, you fall. You are confused. You try going the other side, you knock. When you try to do this thing, you are all failing. You are failure without light. And I pity people who say, I will change him when you get that text. And you say, I will change him. I'll, you are getting equally yoked with an unbeliever. Light and darkness do not mix. He chooses light because in light there is power. Power to overcome. Even a simple ray of light, even a simple matchbox can overcome the, a room of darkness. Praise be to Jesus. One, one writer told me that uh, instead of speaking about darkness in the room, it is always far much better for you 
to light a candle. When you're in a room, instead of crying about the darkness, just light a candle and see how darkness will flee. Amen? Now, I will relate this scripture to what we are going through. One of the members called me one of these days and told me that, Pastor, I'm tired of being home. I asked her why. She said, my parents are full of negativity. There's nothing positive at home. I miss church. I miss home. I miss Ishaka. And I was like, tell me more. She said, it's all about them. Whatever they know is right, and whatever they say is the right thing. They don't care about anybody. They don't want to hear from anyone. For them, it's all about them. I said, wow. This must be a dark side. This must be a dark corner, a dark room. You're closed in your room and you're saying, hey, what can I do? You used to do your business. Now things are falling apart. You used to have a fellowship. You used to have a home sale. You used to have high farms. Now these guys seem to be far away. You call Papa Stewart and all guys, the phones are off. You call so and so, you used to have fellowships. They are no longer there. You're all in the wilderness alone. <laughs> tests are like tests, temptations are like temptations. But the point is, God is light. Light out of every situation, light out of every way, light out of every dungeon, light out of every confusion, light out of every pain and every misery, light out of every kind of corner that you are fixed in. God is the light. God is the revelation. God is the perfection. God is the necessity that you need out of whatever you're doing, whatever you're going through. He said in him there is no darkness. That means for him is pure in each and everything he does. Yes, things may have fallen, be fallen you. Things may be falling into your way. The walls may be rising up. People may be against you. The situation may be turning around tables against you. But it's not that God doesn't love you. God loves you. And he cares so much about you. He knows each and everything. He never does something without his knowledge. He knows why things are happening the way they are happening. Because the Bible says in James 1.12 that he who overcomes temptations, that person is blessed. He's blessed. When you overcome this obstacle, when you embrace the vulnerability of this season, you will see the blessing. Because God is pure in his heart. Whatever he does, it is for your only good. I just want to say, whichever kind of thing you always wanted to do, if you ever wanted to pray more, if you ever wanted to sing more, if you ever wanted to, do, to read the word more, this is the season. 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 I'm going to request you to turn with me to the book of Psalms as we are going to pray. The book of Psalms, chapter 24, verses 6. And we are going to pray. 24 says, if you begin from verse 1, he says, God claims the world as his, and everything and everyone belongs to him. He is the one who pushed back oceans, and he let the, the dry land to be revealed, planting firm foundations for the earth. He who, who, who then ascends into the presence of the Lord, it is he who has the privilege of entering into the holy place. Those who are clean, those whose works and ways are pure, those whose hearts are true and whose hearts are revealed by the truth, those who never deceive, whose words are sure, and they will receive the Lord's blessing and the right he has given to them by the Savior. They will stand before God 
For they seek the pleasure of God's face, the God of Jacob. Selah. I'm going to pull out verse 6, where he says that this is the generation of Jacob that seeks the face of God. You know very well who Jacob was. This guy went through a lot. But what is encouraging about Jacob is he looked beyond himself, knowing that he was unqualified, that he was the second son, yet Esau was the first son. Jacob didn't consider that. He considered what God could do. He considered the purity of God. He considered the blessedness of God, the goodness of God, and he ended up being blessed. Jacob did whatever he did in faith, and that is the beginning of Israel, the nation. Praise be to Jesus. Whatever we are going to do today, we are whatever we are going to go through in this situation, in this pandemic, in this corona season, we are going to do it in faith. We are going to go in faith and we are going to ask God in faith. We are going to pray in faith because this is the generation of Jacob that is unqualified, but God qualifies us. We are going to do things in faith. Seeking the face of God. Seeking the grace of God. Seeking the favor of God. Seeking the, the ways of God in this evening. So, I just want you to ponder as we are going to pray that God is pure and he can never allow something evil or something terrible, something to overtake you. He is light and is right there where you are. In him there is no darkness at all and he says whatever he does, he does out of intention. Whatever he says he does out of revelation. And he wants to show you something in this season. Probably you've been running away. Probably you've been procrastinating a lot. Probably you've been thinking a lot about how you're going to be. But this time around, we are going to say, Father, pick me up. Pick me up from this dark place. Pick me up from my failures. Pick me up from my weaknesses. Pick me up, oh God. Pick me up, oh God. Pick me up, oh God. Pick me up, oh Jesus. And we are saying, Father, you are the light, you are the light, you are the light, you are the light, oh God. That was the conclusion of John after hearing the gospel, after walking with Jesus for three years. He said, God is light. That is the message, John God. He said, God is light and in him. That means if I am in him, he said, in him, not around him. He says, in him, those who are in him, <laughs> there is no darkness at all. When you find God, <laughs> you find light. When you find God, <laughs> you get what you want. When you find God, you get the revelation. When you get God, you get to see things the better way. When you get God, you start walking like, like a noble person. You start getting purpose. You start getting importance. You start getting value. That is the essence of the light. He says, God is light. <laughs> Somebody just lift up your praise unto God. Lift up your praise unto God. Lift up your praise unto God. In these remaining minutes, lift up your praise unto God. And say, Lord, you are pure. And he say, Lord, you are noble. And say, Lord, you are able. And say, Lord, you know there is nothing outside of you. You can see each and everything because God is light. Whatever he wants to know, he will shed light upon that place. Whatever corner he wants to see, he will shed light upon it and he will see exactly what is happening in your life whatever you've been hiding let God shed light in that place let God shed light in that place because God is light somebody say God is light and I will see the light coming for me I will see the light at the end of the tunnel I will see the light at the end of the season the Lord is the way to go the Lord is my way the Lord is my way I said there is no darkness at all. No darkness at all. Somebody refuse the darkness today. Refuse the darkness today. Refuse the darkness today. Refuse the darkness today. And walk in the light today. Walk in the light today. Invite the light today. Somebody invite the light in your life. Invite the light in your life. 
Yes, somebody pray, 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 pray. Invite the light into your life. Where is it dark, oh God? Where is it dark, my brother? Where is it dark, my sister? Is it in the family? Is it in the place of work? Is it in the place of investment? Where is the darkness? Where is the darkness? Invite the Lord God. Invite the Lord God. Invite the Lord God. Invite the warrior. The warrior of light. He uses light to overcome darkness. He uses light to overcome witches. He uses life to overcome sickness. You could have been uh, sick of God on this season. Now yet we are saying that the Lord is light. 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 There is no darkness in him. I am hiding myself in him. He's pure. He's honest. He's truthful. He's faithful. Saba 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 O yari na yona O yari na yona O yari na yona O yari na yona Ya sovola Ya nanta megua Ya ya wangula Ya joku wanguza Saba uluwarero Omu gambe kawaka You are the light of God Set your light in my life Set your light in my life Set your life in my life Set your life for God Set your word in my life Set your way my God Set your ball my way Tawa saba 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 saba, owe ta go kumi kuliwa, e ta ga revelation, go la ba toma ni jola ga, sabo luarero, omu sana gua katonda, sabo luarero, omu la mugua katonda, sabo luarero, amazima gua katonda, sabo luarero, e tisa cha katonda, ya somu sana gua kunze, Father let you shed your light upon me, 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 look upon me ga, look upon me ga, look upon me Father. With the eyes of mercy, look upon me, God. Or let you such a cabaca, or Ramazima Gomukama, or Roku Sasira Quo, or Roku Agara Quo, or Robu Anguzi Wo, or Ramazima Go, Sikurida Sikurida, Akutunu de Coero, Ayasomo Sana, Akutunu de Coero, Akuyambe Cabaca, Akutunu de Coero, or Luarero, or Luarero. Somebody pray, God is light, God is light, God is light. Ah, mama, 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 mama. I need God is light in my life. 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 I want to be the light of the world. I want to be the salt of the world. But only that light of Father is it from you, my master. The light of the world. The light of the world. Said upon me, and let the wilderness go away. Let the wilderness strain in the name of the Lord. Once you believe, once you trust in the Lord, once you come out of, come out of the darkness, come out of the darkness, come out of the darkness, come out of the darkness. Now we are trying to Galilee. The way went to Galilee. The way went to Galilee. Come out to me, my God. Come out to me today. 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 Unkweta gakabaka. Unkweta gamulenze. Unkweta goruarero. Unkweta gakabaka. I know Murad Saba, I know Murad Saba, I know Murad Saba, I know Murad Saba, O Amabanja Saba, O Amabanja Saba, Saba Saba Sabo Radero, O Gambe Saba, O Gambe Kusaba Kama, O Gambe Kweta Gam Kama, Securida, Securia Securida, Securia Securida, Tetitangara, 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 Chelsea. Oh, Lord, you are the light today. You are my 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 light today. In this evil of death, you are my light today. In this confusion, oh God, you are my light today. In this lockdown, oh God, you are my light today. Ma, 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 the light of the world, the light of the world. Let the world bow. Let the world bow. Let the world bow. Let the earth give way. 
way. Let the earth give way. Let doors open. Let doors open to the light of the world. 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 Light of the world, where are you? Light of the world, where are you? Light of the world, where are you? In my family, where are you? In my academics, where are you? Ma, 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 ma. Light of the world. Light of the world. Light of the world. Tata Simitagera. Yes, Simani Wakuraga. But I know. Quachitangara. Mama, I know. Nakose Ganye. Nasente Zibuze. Or in a church of Oxasula. Bakamasa Chachi. Nayamani Katonda. He's the light of the world. He's the light of the world. When he sheds his light, the world bows down. Saba, 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 Saba. Saba 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 mukwano gwange saba mwekwate he said in him ah sitagenda walala kansigare mono kansigare mugwe kane kwate gwe kantambule mugwe i want to walk in the light i want to walk in the light the light of your glory the light of your making the light of your future the light of my destiny the light of father brighten my destiny yaka 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 Yaka, 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 Saba 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 ngambe tocha kukoma ho tocha kukoma ho tocha kukoma ho tocha kulemererwa tocha kulemererwa don't give up my brother don't write that letter don't write that letter don't write that letter don't say that word but let the light of god as the light of god as the light of god the light of god the light of god the light of god it is such a chikumereko if ever you Kumereko, ama kesi ya kuwewe, aku ama kesi ya ketaksa, aku obu iso wetaksa, oku angula lero. Oh, saba, 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 saba. Kore so mori no wori, kore so mori no wori. Light the fire today, light the fire today. Set up your spirit, set up your spirit, set up your spirit, set up your faith, your expectation. O kambe kawaka, o kambe kwa fuga, o kambe katonda. Saba 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 Oluwalero saba 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 Bible ya kugambie Bible ya kugambie O mana ya tugambie na kamba this the blood the blood of Jesus that speaks better words Leka go gero lwalero leka go gero lwalero mumbera ya wo wori go gero lwalero mumisi byo byo itamo the blood of Jesus let it speak better words so speak better words today in the name of the Lord in the name of God in the name of mama 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 the mighty one the stronger one the warrior the healer the deliverer tata yamba yes yamba tata yamba tata tasa tata tasa ngambe tasa yamba nzerero yamba be wange yambe byange mukama oya somusana oya somusana father let it to you let it to you somusana go let it be what you must go. Banji bana kuraba, banji bana kwete gereza. Leka ba kwete gereza lero, leka ba kurabe kolero, leka ba kwe unyero, leka ba kuka kaserero. Father, mama, 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 simula, simula, simule ba devi kanye, simule ba devi sobie. Open the gates today, open the gates today, and let the light enter. Lift the gates today, and let the light enter. Whatever shield, put down your shield. Put down your shield, put down your shield, put down your shield, put down your, shield, put down your weapons, and let the light of God enter. Let the Lord overwhelm them. Let the light enter. Ah, let the light enter. The light of the world, the light of life, the bread of life, the bread of life, the brighter morning star, the brighter morning star, the bright morning star. Ma, 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 ma. In that world where your mother is, in that world where your sister is, in that place where your church is, just lift the light of God. Let the light of God enter our lives this morning. Father, let your light enter. Let the light of God enter our hearts. Father, enter our hearts this moment. Father, shed your light brighter. 
the light of the world. 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 It's it down with the light of the world. In this world there's fear. In this world there's trouble. In this world there's darkness. In this world there's trouble. There's turmoil, oh God. There's black and made of father. There's a failure, king of glory. There are a lot of battles to fight. But let the light. Let the power of light. Let the power of light. Let the power of light. As light overcomes the darkness, as light opens doors, as the light of Father breaks down walls, as the light of God finds a way into the dark room of King of Glory, let your light, let your light, let your light shine, let your light shine in our lives. Just lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. In one, two minutes, you're just going to ponder. I say, Lord, let your light. Let your light. Illuminate my eyes. It's the illumination of God that shows us the way. Let the illumination of God show us the truth. Let the illumination of God show us the treasures in darkness. Father, we want to see the treasures in this dark end, O oh God. In this dark season, O oh King of glory, where all doors are shut. Let your light illuminate our eyes to see the treasures of the dark that no man has seen. That no man has experienced. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And I'm going to walk with my head lifted up, with my eyes above the storm, with my spirit above the noise of the world. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Let your light be to me as it is to those that you love. In the name of Jesus. Somebody clap unto God. Clap unto Jesus and say, Father, I thank you. For I am the illumination to the world of God's glory. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Friends, I want to say thank you so much for being with us this evening. We want to say thank you so much for praying with us. It is always a honor and a pleasure to be with you and seeing you doing things the way God wants you to do them. Just do what God wants you to do. Do the right thing, even when things are tough. Amen? Do the right thing. Don't get off the course. He will come out for you because he's everywhere you are in the name of the Lord. See you on Sunday. We shall be having our service online. Don't miss it. By 9 sharp, we shall be having our service, Sunday service. Call your friends, invite your friends, and let us watch together. Please don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That you'll be able to receive our notifications whenever we are live. And we shall be glad to be with you and to share with you. In the name of Jesus, we thank the Lord. Amen. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>